Elites is going on, we live action, you already know what it is. Just like I said on my Facebook fan page, since there was no bleach this week, you know, I decided to put out a couple of videos. And notice I did not give a specific time or a day, you know, because anything can happen, anything can happen. So say if I had to say, okay, I'm going to push it out Wednesdays to make up for the, you know, bleach review. And then I wouldn't, you know, been able to push it out because anything did just happen. So that's why I'm pushing it out now. But, you know, thanks for watching, of course. I mean, you might not see this video till Monday. I don't know what you all have going on for the weekend. Um, Yeah, let's get into this. Now, with this video, you know, of course, y'all know me. It's very rare that I push out a four to six minute video. So, you know, sit back, kick back, relax. Now, with this video, I'm going to be talking about my all-time favorite, favorite game. And of course, it's it's gonna branch off into its own franchise, which I was very, very glad to hear about that. And that is, of course, yes, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid, damn, Metal Gear Rising. Okay, now, let me take it back as to why. All right, this turned out to be a dream come true title. And I'm gonna get into that later. And this is the thing. We all know I'm a big Metal Gear fan, all right? Been playing it since the uh, first Nintendo, you know, the NES. So, when Metal Gear started becoming famous again, once Metal Gear Solid came out on the PlayStation 1, then Part 2 came out, Sons of Liberty. And that's when Raiden was introduced, and a lot of people did not take a liking to Raiden because, of course, everyone wanted to just play a snake. I mean, who doesn't like Solid Snake? And they didn't care about Raiden. Some were saying, oh, he's a whiny, oh, he's a bitch, whatever. And... And that game, when I when I played Sons of Liberty, to be honest, um, yes, I wasn't too crazy about riding. I just wanted to be like, hey, give me snake, you know, let me just play a snake. But then as I started playing as with when I started playing with riding, they did play very similar. Not the not the exact same, but very similar. I mean, let's let's face it, Metal Gear titles are uh, Metal Gear Solid titles are stealth uh, type of games. So as the game went on, you know, we get to know more about riding and whatnot. But then I noticed once he switched over. To the blade, all right, and I seen that final scene between him and Solidus. I'm thinking like, damn, he he, he can uh he can really use this uh, blade. So down the line, years years later, all right, we come across Metal Gear Solid Four: Guns of Patriots, and when I seen the way they did write it, I was amazed and blown away. Of course, I I was amazed to see the. Uh, the changes of the whole cast, you know, everybody, even the people who made their um, reappearances in the title. But riding the way I seen they did them now, we all know I love ninjas. I love swords, all right? We all know that. So when I seen they turned riding into a cyber ninja because I love Gray Fox. Who doesn't love Gray Fox? I mean, some people still love Gray Fox more than um, more than Raiden. But anyway, the thing is, when I seen the way he was done, the first thing I thought to myself, like, damn. You know, at this time, I didn't have a PS3, so I was thinking, like, damn, I hope, I hope you are able to play it as Raiden. I'm like, man, if you're able to play as Raiden on this Metal Gear Solid 4, I might just run out and get a <laughs> PlayStation 3 just for that. But, of course, you, you weren't able to play as Raiden, and I've seen the cutscenes. I remember the cutscenes with Raiden was all the, um, all the big news, and when he was fighting Vamp, the, um, the way that cutscene was done it was done very well the whole game is beautiful of course but the thing is i wanted that game to come on 360 and it never did of course we all know the reasons why so i'm like damn so i sat back and this is where the dream come true title thing comes in i remember i said i really wish a metal gear title would come to 360 and i wish it would be about writing i would love that that's exactly what i thought now as gamers all right, you know you've done this before. I mean, don't do not lie. You know you've done this before at least once, all right? We've all sat there and said, man, I wish they would make a game like this, or I wish they would make a game about this, or I wish they implemented this into a game. So just imagine, all right? You sit back and you're thinking like, man, I wish they would. You're thinking from the ground up, okay? You're not just, you know, looking at an existing title and wishing they would add in certain, certain things in this. From the ground up, like I said, I was thinking like, man, I wish... It was about, they had a Metal Gear game about riding. I really wish, you know, um, uh, it was on 360 and whatnot. And lo and behold, that is what happened. And when I seen the announcement, I was just, I, I man, so, so damn hyped. I could not wait. But the only thing I didn't like about it, it was a prequel. I'm like, damn. Like, uh, like oh, well, I forget it. Then we all know it got scrapped. 
and so many people were uh, pissed off when they when it was re-announced as Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And people was, you know, you had people being so, oh man, gullible and uh, face it, kind of ignorant to think that. And no offense to myself who thought this, but you had people actually thinking like, this was going to be the future of Metal Gear. Number one, anything involving Solid Snake is called Metal Gear Solid. Okay, Gear Uncle? Solid Snake. It's called Metal Gear Solid. Anything involving Raiden, it's called Metal Gear Rising in white. See it right there in white? Rising. That's what it's called. So when uh, they explained that, it made perfect sense. This is a spinoff. And at first, people didn't like the whole change of it. Even when people, they understood, like, okay, this, you know, Metal Gear isn't going into this direction. Yes, we know Snake and Boss will come back into their own games. I still don't like the way it looked compared to the original way. But the thing is, Hideo Kojima said, there was no stable foundation of the title. I mean, how they say you can literally cut everything. That can be a clusterfuck in a sloppy game if you really think about it. Just think about it, cutting every single thing. Gamers and people will test that out. I mean, just just cutting, build everything. He said it was just it was very sloppy, and he was actually right about this. Hideo, when it comes to action, high speed action, any kind of action, Hideo Kojima, uh, you know. That's not his forte, especially in the Metal Gear world. Now, the closest you can say he did something like that high-speed action was uh, Zone of the Enders. But when it comes to Metal Gear, you know, that's stealth. He, he really doesn't know that. So this extra change of events, all right, it really, really just put the fire on the wick. Yes, not the icing on the cake, not the candle in that motivator. No, the fire on the wick when Platinum Games teamed up with Konami. I love Platinum Games, all right? I know the whole history about, about that company and everything, and we all know on a side note, my other second favorite franchise, uh, well, hopefully to get a sequel to be a franchise, the, a full successful franchise, um, Vanquish, right here, done by Platinum Games. I love Vanquish. I am a Vanquish junkie. All I need is one more achievement on this motivator. That achievement is very, very frustrating, but anyway, uh, they did this game very well. They know about action. Of course, Bayonetta. Platinum Games did that too. Of course, Mad World. Platinum Games did that too. I need to pick up Inarchy Reigns. I'm slipping on that. But anyway, it was perfect. You have the the storytelling elements that Hideo Kojima and Kojima Productions can offer. And they combined it with the gameplay action of what Platinum Games know how to offer. And, it, and the thing is, it was a match made in heaven. They worked perfectly together. And the changes they made to the game, I'm, I, I was completely satisfied with everything they done with it. First thing first, we all like I said, I love blades, I love my swords, and I said finally I can finally did someone deliver a game, you know, uh, a sword action game that's just really up my alley. I'm playing as my favorite Metal Gear character. He has this. He has um, it's oh, and they changed it to where it's not a prequel, so it takes place after Metal Gear Four. Uh, he has this upgraded cybernetic ninja body. You know, he has this sword, not just a regular old sword. That thing can cut down to a molecular level. And um, it's the way you're going down his storyline, the enemies, the world, everything about it. It was just checking off everything that I love on my list. And I like how Metal Gear, you all have your groups, your cliques and whatnot. We all know Metal Gear is solid. You know, you had Liquid, uh, Raven, Psycho, Mantis, Sniper Wolf. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, you had the end, the fear, the pain, etc. How in here you have Desperado, you know, you have a Monsoon, Mistral, Gesturing Sam, etc. And um, I, 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 did how they, I did like how they kept that within this Metal Gear universe. Um, you can see Raiden, he has his own style. Like, with this being a spinoff of his own game, his own universe, whatnot. It's, of course, it's still in the Metal Gear universe. Everything has its own style. So, yes, it still has a traditional sound effects, the old codec sequences, but also the music, the uh, the layout, oh yeah, the music, oh my god, the music, done so well, the vocals in this title, it's, every now and then throughout the level, you know, there will be instrumentals, music, but when a battle kicks in, that's when the vocals come in, and with the boss battles, yes, you will get vocals, and um, my favorite one of all time is when you fight the Blade Wolf. That one, I love that track. Um, I even like the song on the credits. Everything, like I said, is just done 
So, so uh, it's just a dream come a dream come true title to me. Now, is it perfect? No, it's not. Um, like I said, I like all types of games. It doesn't even have to be a blockbuster title. Okay, I do own blockbuster titles, but I wasn't expecting this to be a blockbuster, big, big, big hitter, get game of the year. That's cool. That's fine. But it caters and appeals to me. That's why this is my favorite game. As of now, is a uh, like I said, dream come true title. My ex, it, it met all of my expectations, all right. Um, of, but of course, one of the other cons, it seemed uh, it could have been longer, but I'm not gonna really nitpick over that. A lot of games can seem short when you are constantly on those motivators. That's what damn near any game, if you're really into a game and you got some free time, you're just on it and on it and on it, it you're gonna blow through it and it's gonna seem short. But of course, you know, you have unlockables, you know, the weapons, the wigs, the outfits, higher difficulties, the VR missions, and the DLC, as you see that I uploaded with uh, Jetstream Sam. And they're going to announce even more, um, I mean, they're going to release even more DLC. Uh, the inside jokes within the title, I love it. Um, the, the voice work, the lip syncing, I love it. Um, the animations of the characters, the way the blade mode is implemented. But one thing I want to point out, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid. The other force of habit, Metal Gear Rising was not the first title to implement the Blade Mode. The first title to do that, to my knowledge, well, if you want to call it Blade Mode on this title, is Afro Samurai. It has something similar to it, you know, to where you can do precise cutting, the same thing on this game. But some will say this was a little bit, a little bit more precise. I mean, you can cut off fingers on here, toes. You can actually cut off breasts on here. Yes, it's that accurate. However... It, I still like it better on Metal Gear. Um, what else with the title that delivered up to expectations? Um, of course, the visuals. Like I said, it's not the best, best, best looking game, but you know it worked there in, in, uh, in my book. And the good thing is, Hideo Kojima already said he's interested in doing a sequel. At first, he said if this title did not sell well or meet the expectations, you know, he would not do a sequel. However, he didn't reveal the numbers, but he did say that he was pleased with the numbers and he is willing to do a sequel only if Platinum Games is willing to do it because he said he would not do, excuse me, he would not do another Metal Gear Rising uh, if Platinum is not behind it because Platinum, they, like I said, it was just a, a perfect, perfect team up duo uh, with Platinum and Konami and um, or Kojima Productions and Kojima I mean Platinum they actually said this was a perfect team uh, collaboration because they both admitted Kojima Productions and Platinum Games they couldn't have made that game without one of the other because I'm not ragging on Platinum because you know I love Bayonetta uh, the series and I can't wait to get Bayonetta too but we all know there are some things uh, Hideo Kojima knows and Things he can do and Kojima Productions can do that Platinum Games cannot pull off, especially with the cutscenes and the storytelling aspect. That's why they left the whole gameplay and everything to Platinum Games and everything else, you know, Kojima took over. So that's my whole thing about it. At least, um, like I said, when I feel like picking up that blade and really hacking and cutting into something, you know, just straight up hacking. Yeah, you have your sub weapons, you know, you have your um, the Stinger, the Rocket Launcher, or whatnot. And yeah, you know, you have your grenades, but it's mainly with the blade. I love the blade mode. Like I said, everything time just slows down. Good, uh, nice cuts. But that's my thing about Elite. So tell me, you know, I'm curious to know what is your all time favorite game or franchise and why does it appeal and why does it cater to you? You know, let me know down below. Again, thanks for watching this video. This is Elite Ace signing out.